am Heather Graham, and I am with author John Land. And John has all kinds of exciting things going on. But I think one of the things we'd like to talk about first is this uh, book that we have right here, a Caitlin Strong novel, Strong at the Break. And in this one, Caitlin is on the trail of a right-wing militia plotting nothing less than a second civil war. Ooh. And she's oh. a female Texas Ranger, so she's up to the task. She's, I, I love that she's a female Texas Ranger. And that's one thing I want to talk about. What do you think, I mean, is this something that readers really, uh, well, I'm, I think we all know that they probably do, but how do you feel about the association that the readers get with the heroes and uh, she's a heroine that you create? Th that's a great question. And I think, you know, as she is a traditional hero in the sense that the American frontier hero, which is the Western gunfighter, mm -hmm. the frontiersman, or Huckleberry Finn, loners, uh, people who are, who are doing great things for lots of numbers of people who would be otherwise in jeopardy. That is typical. I don't think there's a better way to describe Caitlin Strong. And I have always been fascinated by the notion of heroism, uh, maybe because I'm not one myself, you know, and I write about them by my definition all the time, but I'm even more fascinated by everyday heroes. Mm -hmm. The teacher who stays right. hours late in school to help kids who are ESL kids, English as a Second Language, learn how to read and make sure the test scores go up so the school and her district doesn't, she's working it doesn't lose, her fund, lose their funding. You know, the there's a great one. I, I, people, these young people who volunteer in nursing homes and hospice centers okay. who read out loud to patients who are mortally ill just to have a voice in the room. Um, Studs Terkel, who wrote American Dreams Lost and Found, did this better than anyone in glorifying the simple man and in finding true heroism in everyday acts. And this is what we often don't take it, we, 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 we take for granted. And there are so many people doing wonderful things that go utterly under the radar. What I do with Caitlin Strong is glorify heroism that is, that is dramatic. The Greeks, who, were, who basically created heroism, or the nature of modern, of we, what we call heroism, as far back as Homer, gave us the fact that all heroes pay a price that all heroes must be willing to sacrifice. That may be true of fictional heroes and the traditional Western gunfighter kind of hero that Caitlin Strong as a female Texas Ranger exemplifies. But I like to think that our everyday heroes aren't don't have to make that sacrifice. Right. Well, I think it goes with, I think one of the best descriptions I've, I've heard of um, actually courage and heroism is you know, not that you walk in unafraid, but that you are afraid and you walk in anyway. That, you know, that's, yeah. I think that is a perfect description. But how we define heroes in, their, in the acts, and what I'd like to almost say is, imagine how much better this world would be if every person once a week, never mind once a day, we don't want to go, that's, that's a tough <laughs> standard. Once a week, sure. if, if every person committed a heroic, performed, not committed, but performed a heroic act by their own definition, whatever yeah. that could be, as simple at, or as complex. Um, and it could be the people who volunteer in schools. And I'm a big believer in what we do with our young people will determine our future, so I keep using young people as the heroic example. But they are also, the future. But, you yeah. know, I, I, the example of the nursing home is right. also well taken. Um, the our military, the things they are doing. I, 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 I did a book event at the Intrepid Center for Heroes in San Antonio, and there's a reason why it's called the Center for Heroes. These are boys and girls who have lost limbs and be, been horribly scarred, burn scarred, you know, blown up because of service to this country. And you know what they want the most? They want to go back. They want to rejoin yeah, heard their that. companies. They yeah. want to. They want to go back to their platoons, and it breaks their hearts and breaks their souls if they can't, even with missing legs, they want to go back.